Today I'm going to continue on the free code camp learn CSS by building a sorry learn CSS colors by building a set of colored markers. Um, so on step 51, so we're going to use the RGB function for the colors of this gradient. Um, and in the linear gradient function, use RGB to set the first color argument to pure red. So we're going to do RGB. <clears throat> um, is that right? And then I think it was it 255, 0, and 0. So let's see how we get on there. Um, hmm. Ah, sorry, we still need the degrees. So 90 degrees. And then the second um, argument to that is RGB. And then 255, 0, and 0. There we go. <clears throat> sorry, I was just reloading. There we go, step 52. So you won't see the gradient yet because linear gradient needs at least two color arguments to work. <clears throat> so set the second color argument to pure green. So I'm gonna add in a comma here, RGB. This will be zero, uh, 255, zero. And there we go, we can see now our color gradient. So 90 degrees is going effectively left to right. And it's starting at red and going all the way to green. And then in between there is sort of the gradient between those colors. <clears throat> cool. Step 53, as you can see, the linear gradient function produced a smooth red-green gradient. While the linear gradient function needs a minimum of two colors, it can accept many color arguments. So it looks like we want to add a third, and that will be pure blue. So RGB will be 0, 0, and then 255. And there we go. We've got our sort of full um, color gradient there between the three. So step 54, color stops allow you to fine tune where colors are placed along the gradient line. There are length units, so like pixels or percentages that follow a color in the gradient function. <clears throat> so for example, you do red and then 90%, and then I'm assuming red would go 90% away along um, the gradient here. So, Let's see, for after the first color gradient, we want to add 75%. So I believe, there you go, the red takes up 75% of the gradient, and then we've got the green and then the blue um, in the remaining space there. Cool. Step 55, Ooh, uh, let me just ask later. Step 55, now that you know the basics of how linear gradient function um, and color stops work, you can use them to make your markers look more realistic. Um, in the linear gradient function, set gradient direction to 180 degrees. So I assume this is the, that's the gradient direction. Let's do 180. There we go. So now you can see it's going top to bottom. And then set the color stop for red to be zero. So 0% zero here. Um, for green, 50. So we need to do there, 50%. And for blue, 100. So that's going to be there, 100%. There we go. Cool. <clears throat> Now that the color stops are set, you can apply different shades of red to each color argument in the linear gradient function. So the shades on the top and bottom edges of the marker will be darker, um, and then the ones on the middle will be lighter, um, as if there's light above it. So for the value for red, it's gonna be one, two, two. For green, it's actually now 74, and for blue is 14, rather than the sort of the full color of 255. And there you go. Uh, hmm. <clears throat> oh, sorry, that, that's wrong. Um, so it was actually just the um, color within this red of the first function. So what was it 74 and 14? <clears throat> and let's check that now. There you go, that makes more sense, yeah. Cool. So step 15. D8. Now modify the second color argument in the linear gradient, which is currently pure green. <coughs> and we want to give this a value of 245 for red, 62 for green, so 62. <coughs> and then the blue 
is was it one one three like so <clears throat> there we go and finally the third one so this uh, last RGB color which currently is blue we give it one six two for red 27 and 27 and there we go <clears throat> cool and probably finally for this video step 60 the red marker is looking a lot more realistic now we'll do the same for the green marker so using a combination of the linear gradient and hex functions um, oh yeah basically yeah using that so what we're going to do and we want to just change for this one sorry just for now just the background color to color uh, background dun, dun. And why is that not working? Oh, sorry, all good. Perfect. Cool, well, I hope that helped. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And thanks for watching.